Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to the ecumenical concert. We are so happy. Let's hear it. We're back. Oh, come on. We are so happy that this event can continue after taking a few years off because of the pandemic. My name is Katherine Miller. I'm the executive director here at the Marilyn Rodman Performing Arts Center. And I just feel so extremely happy and excited uh, to experience what is my first ecumenical concert with you all today. You know, the theater is about um, fellowship and community, and we are just so happy to all be together to celebrate that with you. And I am really pleased to be with Bernie France here from the Bethany Church to co-host with me tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you, Catherine. It's wonderful to be here. Uh, those of you who've taken part in this theater uh, and the performances here know how important this is to our community. And now it's been almost three years, three years hiatus since we got together and did this ecumenical community event. So I have a feeling everybody is really anxious and everybody's been thinking about this for weeks to get together and sing for each other. Of course, I also, also say I think it's great to be able to do a concert in front of your friends, right? Uh, so it's been a wonderful uh, opportunity to come back and we've got a lot of wonderful performers here tonight from various uh, faith communities and we also have a special appearance of the new YMCA Glee Club, which you're gonna hear about that. It's gonna be wonderful. Um, before we get started, uh, you know, this event has happened for, we believe it's been 15 years, and it was all started and inspired by someone very special to this community, who I believe is here tonight, Jack Othelet. Uh, if you don't know Jack, which I'm sure you all do, he's just this wonderful, wonderful human. He has taught me so much about community and being together and what it means to give back. And he was, he was the person who said, let's do this event. Let's make it something special for the community. So Jack, if you're here, we appreciate you and thank love you, Jack. you, and thank you. Oh, he's right there. Oh, Jack. I also want to thank Laura Canfield, who you'll be seeing here uh, just in a few moments. She uh, directed this event for over 10 years, and she uh, had the idea to bring it to the Marilyn Rodman Performing Arts Center to expose it to more people, to have more people able to enjoy it, to really bring the community together in an artistic sense. So thank you to Laura Canfield. Thank you, Laura. And finally, you won't see them tonight, maybe in person, but upstairs and around, you'll, um, you'll be seeing Michael Weber and Paul Beck um, from Foxborough Cable Access. They are so dedicated to um, really making sure that we take care of these events and we show them to the community for people who cannot be here. So if your friends or family want to watch, it will be on Foxborough Cable Access later and documented for all time. So thank for you, Paul time. and Michael. And Fox thank you, Paul and Michael. Access. Fantastic. So without further ado, we want to get started with our first performers. Today we have the Serenading Seniors led by Jean Bonneau, and we have the St. Mary's Youth Choir with uh, Laura Canfield. They're going to present two songs, um, Silent Night, Oh Holy Night, uh, uh, sort of a medley, and they're going to do a piece called Why We Sing. Why We Sing was a piece that St. Mary's Youth Club performed some years ago, and the serenading seniors were so touched by that song, they wanted to do it with the youth club. So that'll be a combination performance. So let's give it up for our first performers.
Let's hear it again for these serenading seniors. St. Mary's Youth Choir. Always, always a feature at these events. When I think of what we all um, lost in a way with the pandemic, the thing that strikes me the most is that singing was the one thing that they kept saying, oh, that's the last thing you want to do is sing, right? So it's so wonderful and beautiful to be able to express ourselves musically with the voice, the human voice, which I'm a little biased, but I think it's probably the most beautiful instrument there is. We are now um, going to be treated uh, with two exceptional musicians from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They have performed before at this event, and it's always uh, a very special part of the concert. Mark Small is a guitarist and composer and a music journalist. Peter Hunt is a builder of Celtic harps and, of course, a wonderful player. And the two of them are going to collaborate on an arrangement, Mark Small's arrangement of God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. And then uh, Peter's going to play See Amid the Winter's Snow. And these got some important things to tell you about that piece. So we're going to let them tell you more about uh, these songs. So let's give it up for Peter and Mark.
born for us on earth for all. Your lamb appears, promised from eternal years. Hail, thou ever blessed morn. Hail, redemption's happy dawn. Sing through all Jerusalem, Christ is born in Bethlehem. This sensitive and introspective arrangement for harp uh, done by <coughs> Kim Robertson starts with a little motif of falling snow. Picture, if you will, the start of a New England snowstorm. A few flakes fall gently from a graying sky, then more and more, and slowly the landscape is covered in a magical carpet of white. Remember when you were a child and a snowstorm held such a wonder and a beauty and a magic before you had to learn to drive in it or shovel it. <laughs> and remember when you were a child and Christmas held such a wonder and a beauty and a magic before you had to learn to deal with shopping and credit card payments. Come with me now on a little musical walk out in the falling snow and ponder Christmas and the birth of the Savior, the wonder, the beauty, and the magic of it. See amid the winter snow.
Thank you so much, Mark and Peter, for sharing your music with us. It's always a treat to hear a harp, I think, so it was beautiful. Before our next performer comes on stage, I wanna thank um, anyone and everyone who has made a donation to the Marilyn Rodman Performing Arts Center's Community Access Fund through this event. Uh, just to speak a little bit about that fund, it was created to really give opportunity for all to access this theater, whether that be those who are renting the space or whether it be those who are in need of subsidized tickets or really just want to come see a show and can't afford it. It gives us the opportunity to welcome all to this space to enjoy wonderful, um, wonderful events. I mean, we have a huge array going on here. It's um, amazing to me. Uh, actually, this is my amazing colleague, Jen here, our artistic director. She says we're like Vegas, because last night she was working a comedy show, and tonight we get to hear this beautiful music. So it's, um, it's a really special place, and those donations that you made really help us to, to thrive and keep going. So thank you so much. And there's still opportunity if you'd like to give. Uh, you can do that through our concession stand. There's a donation jar. We have Venmo set up as well that you can see there, or you can go back to our website and make a donation this season as well. So thank you for your generosity. I'm gonna welcome to the stage uh, Dominic DeLuca from Grace Chapel. He has been a member there for six years and sharing his music with that community. Uh, he has selected Emmanuel and Mary Did You Know, and this is his words. He says, because they express musically the appropriate passion found in lyrics. So I'm very excited to welcome Dominic DeLuca to the stage. A sign shall be given, a virgin will conceive, a human baby bearing undeniable deity. The glory of the nations, a light for all to see. Stand against us 
our God is with us, Emmanuel. Our God is with us, Emmanuel. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm the storm with his hand? Did you know? that your baby boy has walked where angels trod and when you kiss your little baby then you've kissed the face of God oh Mary did you know Mary did you know The blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises of the Lamb. Mary, did you know that your baby boy was Lord of all creation. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect lamb? The sleeping child you're holding is the great I am. Thank you. What incredible talent we have here in our town. That was uh, phenomenal. Uh, our neighbors next door, the Bethany uh, Congregational Church, they're joining us next. A uh, little fun fact, they're going to be singing While Stars Their Vigil Keep. This was composed by Morton Luvas, and he is the founder of the Allegheny College Choir. And this, in this choir, is where Bernie, his wife Laura, Tedford, and his wife all met 44 years ago. Isn't that a nice story? It's phenomenal. Um, they're also going to sing Lo, How a Rose um, with eight uh, ancient chords that have not been changed since 1599, which is incredible. So I'm going to let them get set up, um, and I hope you're enjoying the show. The concessions will be open for a little while longer, and then, um, and then we'll continue. Thank you.
The next group, um, to me, just exudes joy and love. They are a group um, of wonderful individuals who remind us the importance of diversity and inclusion and community and love, and they are just phenomenal. It is the YMCA Glee Club. They're gonna be performing two songs, one um, by Vince Giraldi from, well, let me say this. It's Christmas Time Is Here. Who knows the animated winter movie that's from? Ooh, so close, no. Charlie Brown, we have a winner, all right. <laughs> Charlie Brown. And they're doing a fun little parody of Let It Snow, which is adapted from the movie Frozen. So, enjoy. offering good wishes to family and friends. So we thought we'd offer our wishes to you. Grayson, what wish would you like to make? Happy holidays and happy new year. Matt, what wish would you like to make? Happy holidays. Thank you. Erin, do you have a wish for everyone? Happy holidays and a happy new year. Colleen, do you have a wish? Yes. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, and a Happy New Year. Thank you for that beautiful wish. Michaela, do you have a wish to give everyone? Uh, ha happy New Year. Beautiful. Daniel, did you want to make a wish? Beautiful, Happy New Year. Sam, do you have a wish? Happy New Year. Chelsea, do you have a wish for everyone? I'm down for further pain, nine judges to bet that I'm in a wheelchair. Omar, do you have a wish that you'd like to make? For all our families to come together for this holidays. We'd like to wish um, love and peace to all families and to all communities, not just this time of year, but all year round. second song, we would like to dedicate this to the town of Orchard Park, New York, which is where I grew up, because uh, they just got 77 inches of snow in their last storm. <laughs> yeah, from New York? Yeah. All right, you ready? Oh, 
snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. We can take what comes along. Let it snow. Let it snow. Cause we're gonna come back strong. We don't care what they're going to say. Let the storm rage on. Cold air bothers anyway. It's funny how some distance makes no room seem so small. And the fears that once control me can got to be at all. It's time to see what we can do to test the limits and break through. No work, just play. No school for me. I'm free. Okay, I'm a little bit biased, but I thought that was pretty amazing. <laughs> this group of young adults, they teach us something every week. Uh, we started, my wife and I started this glee club. I don't know how long ago it was. It wasn't that long ago. But we get together on Friday nights at 6.30, 6.15, depending. And we just have fun singing. And we, we follow their lead. We follow where the joy and all the uh, creativity is oozing out of them. And uh, of course, we said to them, we wanted to give them opportunities to perform. And we're going to be doing more performing with them. Uh, so it's, it, we learn more from them than I think they learn from us. So it's, it's, a great, it's a great thing. So here we are with Jonathan Pierce Sr. and his son, Jonathan Pierce Jr. from Lutheran Church of the Redeemer, just down the street from here. Uh, and they're going to play some wonderful stuff for you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm from Mansfield. I grew up in Mansfield. I still live in Mansfield. <laughs> so why am I in Foxborough tonight? But I'm here for the same reason we're all here, and that's to, to sing for the holidays, for the Christmas season. Um, I attend the Lutheran Church of Our Redeemer, and I know there's a lot of Lutherans out there from LCOR, hey! But wherever we are tonight, let's remember that we're here for the same reason, and that's to celebrate, to remember Christ uh, during this holiday season. Um, I'm going to be singing the first song, It's Not In Your Program. Um, I don't know why, but I'm gonna sing it anyways. <laughs> Tall in a saddle, we spend Christmas Day Driving the cattle over snow-covered plains All of the good gifts given today Ours is the sky 
and a wide open range. Back in the cities, they have different ways football and eggnog and a Christmas parade. I'll take my blanket. And I'll take the reins It's Christmas for cowboys And wide open plains A campfire for warmth As we stop for the night Stars overhead are the Christmas tree lights. The wind sings a hymn as we bow down to pray. It's Christmas for cowboys and wide open plains. Tall in a saddle, we spend Christmas Day Driving the cattle over snow-covered plain So many gifts have been opened today Ours is the sky and a wide open range It's Christmas for cowboys and wide open the Christmas story, um, having heard it for 44 years, and it's an ancient story, um, in the repetition of it, one can miss that its power is in its delicious irony, uh, starting with um, this baby with uh, unknown uh, parentage, born in a cattle stall, the savior of the world, born with smelly, stinky animals and no room at the inn, power in nothing, and born in this, this town, Nazareth, that was called the royal city of David, but at the time of this birth, Nothing really royal about it. It was a town suffering the depredations of imperial occupation. All the people that that baby would come to minister to were people on the margins of that society, people without, people struggling. And uh, the power inherent in that baby and that city, that royal city of David that was not so special a place at the time of this baby's birth. These themes, as I was singing this song, and suggested we sing it to my dad, this American hymn from the 19th century, it resonated with a more recent non-Christian song, a non-Christmas song, not by Paul Simon, but by Bruce Springsteen, uh, a song about another hometown, uh, a picture of a hometown also suffering the depredations of, of loss and not quite what it once was. And I heard resonance in these themes. I also couldn't resist singing a song about fathers and sons with my dad. And as my dad noted, we're from Mansfield, not Foxborough, but uh, it feels delightful to sing a song about uh, one's hometown when one is singing at least near one's hometown. So there we are. Once in royal to earth from heaven who is God and Lord of all and his shelter was a stable 
And his cradle was a stall With the poor and mean and lonely Lived on earth our Savior's holy And our eyes at last shall see him Through his own redeeming love For that child so dear and gentle Is our Lord in heaven above And he leads his children on To the place where he is gone I was eight years old Running with a dime in my out to the bus stop to pick up a paper for my, my old man. Sit on his lap in that big old Buick, steer as we drove through town. He'd tussle my hand and he'd say, Son, take a good look around. It's my hometown. Stores. Seems like there ain't nobody wants to come down here no more. They're closing down the textile mill across the river tracks. Fallen says these jobs are going, boy, ain't coming back to your hometown. in Royal David City stood a lowly cattle shed where a mother laid her baby in a manger for his bed. Mary was that mother child, Jesus Christ, the little, little child. Let's hear it again for Jonathan, Pierce, Senior, and Junior. And now we have friends from Foxborough Universalist Church that are led by Chris Pappas. Chris Pappas is a very accomplished singer, songer, songwriter, and director. And you'll have to check out her website. There's a lot of things that she has uh, been doing for many, many years in music and performing arts. And she's here with friends from Foxborough Universalist. They're going to do a song that, of course, Away in the Manger, you know. Uh, they've selected that because of its very simple message, but also the song by John Lennon called Happy Christmas, which is a contemplative piece about love and hope. And Chris has merged the two songs together to create something special for you tonight. So please welcome Chris Pappas and Universalist. Checking the one, two, testing the mic. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks to um, Bernie and Catherine for organizing this event and inviting us to, to be a part of it again. We've been a part of this event since 2013. I was thinking, wow, it's really been going on for quite a while and we enjoy it every year, so. Hope you enjoy our selection. One, two. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet hand. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the 
Christmas and what have you done another year over and a new one just begun and so this is Christmas I hope you have fun and near and the dear ones the old So this is Christmas For weak and for strong The rich and the poor ones The road is so long And so happy Christmas From black and for white For yellow and red ones Let's start So this is Christmas, and what have we done? Another year over, and a new one just begun. And so happy Christmas, we hope you have fun. The near and the dear ones, the old. Thank you. All right, so as we wrap up, um, I want to let you know about a few events that we have coming up here at the theater for a totally different vibe than what you've experienced here tonight. On Saturday, December 10th, that's next Saturday, we have the Jingle Bell Band Bash. This is going to be uh, a really fun, festive, rock and roll spirited holiday themed event where we have five local bands playing for charity. So we're gonna have the bands come out, they're gonna play, the audience is gonna vote on their favorite um, song that they heard and whichever band wins, uh, the Marilyn Rodman Performing Arts Center in the spirit of community is going to donate $500 to their charity of choice. So you can um, learn more about that if you sign up for our emails or you can see it on our website, you can see what charities are actually going to be um, honored that night. And then also, and this is relevant to what's coming up, we have um, the White, White Christmas, Irving Berlin's movie musical that we're gonna be showing here on Friday of this week at one and seven, one and seven. This is a free event for the community. You just need to reserve your tickets so you can do so online. And I say that because our next group, um, Custom Blend Quartet is here. It's a small portion of the larger acapella group and they're gonna be performing White Christmas and it's the most wonderful time of the year. The sun is shining, the grass is green, the orange and palm trees sway. There's never been such a when 
concert my first one anyone else first one here today yes let's make it an annual tradition come on back join us next year um, at this time I'd like to invite anyone who performed tonight on to stage if they like for the sing-along we can get those aisle lights up and have you come on down in your program uh, there are the lyrics to a few songs we'd like to sing together as a community and I want to remind you as well that there's going to be um, a reception to follow I'm in the way, always in the way. A reception to follow over um, right at the Bethany Church next door, so please join us. All right, the audience, you thought you were off the hook. You thought we were just going to be doing all the singing. This is your moment. Grab a, a program. The words should be in the program. There's a couple of verses for each of the songs. All right. Sorry. 
So here we are, joy to the world. I know that you know this. Are we ready? Here we go. Joy to the world. we want to end with let there be peace on earth and if you're able to stand why don't we stand together as one big community and sing this together for our world that desperately needs peace here we go let
we have a reception across the way uh, that you saw when we were advertising this. If you're able to come, Bethany Church right across the alleyway. There's a doorway into Fellowship Hall with some light refreshments. And there's also, uh, for wheelchair access, there is the sidewalk. If you follow the signs, wheelchair access to the Fellowship Hall. We hope to see you there. If not, God bless you. Have a wonderful holiday. Thank you for coming. Emmanuel, our God is with us. And if God is with us, who can stand against us? Our God. Back in the cities, they have different ways. Football and eggnog and a Christmas parade. I'll take my blanket and I'll take the reins. It's Christmas for cowboys and wide open plains.